Hey everyone, Johnny Struggles here. And we got the last Starship Alpha for uh, two parts of this video tonight. I have redesigned, well not redesigned, I've edited the Armored Beast. I just added some curves to the hull, did some stuff to it. But anyway, this video is in two parts. One, I'm going to talk about what I've made changes to the ship. And in the back half of the video, I'm going to do a little combat with it against the Centipede that I created, a 10-piece ship. I'm checking to see if some game logic will work with a little modification. So stay tuned for that, or jump to the end of the video if you're not curious about this. But you definitely want to check it out. It is pretty cool. So with the Armored Beast here, let's give it a, a once-over. So I, I kept in the spirit of the original ship. I didn't go too crazy with it. I added a few more guns, you know, a couple more engines, thrusters I left alone. But I built out the interior the way I would design it, you know, using what was here. So, you know, I, the Armored Beast has a, holds a, a special place in my heart from the beginning of the game. With the original, originally played this game a year ago, it uh, struck terror in me whenever I came across it. So, nowadays not so much, as, and the, the ship had not been updated since the very beginning. So, I went ahead and made a modification of it. Like I said, keeping the spirit the same, just uh, filling out the interior basically, make it usable. Uh, I did send a copy of this to Introversion. No idea if they uh, want to use it or not. So if anyone from Introversion is watching, I did send an email. Feel free to use it. Uh, there is a bug, though. If you check the overlays and go to Atmosphere, and these front two cannons and these side cannons, uh, these rooms always load up as, uh, you know, no atmosphere. I can remove the doors. It'll fill in the atmosphere, put the door back, export it, reload the ship right away, and it's filled the same way. So this guy was saved in there without a suit. Uh, oh yeah, I'm out of breath. So, some kind of bug there. But anyway, nothing crazy. The armor, the toughness is slightly less because the original one just has big blocks of armor. Like these side pieces are all, I shouldn't say armor, are all hull. And these are all flashing. They're not valid. And the armor plating I left alone. Well, it's hard to see here. I go tactical. So the armor pattern's the same. I just extend a little bit for the curves. But I kept it the same. I didn't want to go crazy of fully armoring it. We'll see how the top speed is thing here. Speed it up. I think it's like slightly faster now. A couple points faster maybe. Still slow, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm really enjoying it. It's cool. Mess around with it a little bit. But anyway, let me know what you think about it. So the comment in there if you like it if you uh or if you don't like it ah uh, one thing i seen this on why are these in here why is there precious metal in here i have no idea why there's precious metal in here but anyway these floor grates so i actually did put in a uh, bug ticket for these because uh these even in the original before the current editor these were like a hidden key you had to press to get these to show up now i'm not aware of any way to place these vented floor tiles down so hopefully they add them back to where you can place them on the floor. Normal floor tile, vented floor. You can kind of see through it better. We'll see what happens with that. But anyway, on to part two. Where I want to try some combat. So originally, the Centipede is a ten-part ship. And the original functionality is if you blow up part of it and it breaks off in half, the back half of it stops flying around and just sits there. And the rest of it, you know, the head of it, whatever flies on. So we're going to test to see if that's still the same behavior, and then test if I can change things to make it work where if it gets blown up, the individual ships will still fly around. Let's test some combat. We have plenty of crew to man all the guns with extras. And get the guns out there. Come on, guys. Take some of them a while to walk to the gun. There we go. And what I want to try is the centipede chip I created. I want to try. First I need to test to make sure the logic has not changed. There we go. Centipede. I want to shoot out to one of the... Ooh. One of the center pieces. Oh, slow down, slow down. I want to break this thing in half. If I can. Let's see what happens. Four, if you break it in half, the back part just stops moving anymore. 
And I want to see if that's still the case. Concentrate fire on the same point. I don't know, I probably just collected all of this and pointed at the same point. Okay. Ooh, that is loud for you guys. Let me turn that down there. More reasonable. Normal speed. He's a fast mover, so it's hard to hit. We're gonna break him in half. There we go. Okay, so the back half is no longer functioning. It looks like it. I'm going to slow down his, e his Gatling guns are auto firing at me. His cannons are firing at me too. How about that? But they have engines. Well, he's not moving. Guns are still engaging though. Uh, I might get killed with this. There's a lot of guns to shoot at. And we're going to get killed. I'm gonna get away from that one. <laughs> and we're gone. So anyway, what I want to see is if we destroy this, if the tail section will keep flying. That is what I want to try. So I'm gonna reload this. Okay, so I made the changes. I'm curious to see what happens if the game's just gonna crash on me. If it does work, will it, will it actually work? Um, will the enemy ship of the centipede just break apart into individual ships and they all attack me, or what's going to happen? Let's let's find out. Okay, well, game didn't crash. That's a plus. And they're still connected, it looks like. And let the game go a little. Let's go. Or is it half speed? I'll pop that middle guy out. He's so fast. Oh, he broke apart. But I didn't kill him. He just broke apart. Okay, so I broke the head off the tailpiece. Is he? Are the engines still going? Looks like he's turning. I'm sorry to tell because I'm turning. Yeah, yeah, he's still flying. He's, it's working. He's, the tail section got blown up. And it's still working. I need to put this on auto fire for everything. Or. Oh, I need to work on the power of this. Oh, I got plenty of power. Da 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 da. That does look cool. Okay, they pop this square out. And I'm dead. But the idea worked. Look, the two halves of the ship that broke apart are flying around. And let's try reloading my save. So it's possible. It could work. That's kind of neat. And this is what I was like, wanting the behavior to be. I think my ship needs to be bigger, though. Look at this nice thing, since I kitted out the ship all the way, you get all this nice debris to salvage if you fight one of these things and win. <laughs> Flopping around. Alright, uh, let's ban the game. Let's load it again. We're all pointing at the one point. I wonder if they're the docking bay or something. Just, oh, they probably. That's right. If you damage the docking bay, it will disengage, dis, uh, disconnect. So that's probably what happened. I hit the docking port and disconnected it. No, we're not. Let's go. Get our evasion up to a little bit. It's 
same thing happened. I wonder. It's hard to say. I'm gonna blow the head off that guy. Okay, slow down. There, okay, everyone's on auto, auto. Let's pick that guy off. Turn. kill before I take out the head. Nope, oh, got him. But the rest is still flying and yep, took me out. So yeah, the change I made definitely works. That's really cool. That's the behavior like I said I wanted. And he's victorious. The rest of them victorious. It's a cool deal. You can change the code. So I just edited the save game file for each of these ships. I put the AI logic on them. So they keep flying. So that would be possibly something that the uh, devs could look into, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how that would actually work code-wise, but... Me editing it works. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. So there you have it. There's the, uh, you know, the hostile... Oh. The Armored Beast Mark II, updated by me. I think it came out pretty good, even though I got toasted. This guy's just, just eight... You know, eight, nine, ten ships here. Hard to beat. But I think this is pretty neat too. The game code allows this to work the way I expected it to. And this is the way I wanted it to work originally when I fought it. You just destroy pieces of it and the rest of it still continues to go after you. Instead of just sitting there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll check you on the next one, alright? Bye.